Folks, this is Jim. Uh, today we're testing the pass-through charging DC to DC from solar on our T1000 uh, grease cell is what we can call it. Now I got this for 50 cents a watt hour. Mind-blowing. Normally uh, $900 with a $400 coupon on Amazon. I had to try it. The reviews uh, were all in German since it's been, been sold in Germany and they just broke into the American market. But you can see our MPPT charge controller in from our 50 watt Renault G panel is getting exactly 50 watts. So I like the MPPT performance thus far. And you can see that our bodega portable fridge is pulling 31 watts out. So that's uh, showing us that we get uh, pass through charging. So this is the T1000. I will be doing reviews all week. So this is just a video to show you DC to DC pass through charging for running my portable fridge. The other funny thing was if you'll notice the orange trim and then you'll notice my bodega has orange trim, right? So that cracked me up as well. But for 50, 50 cents a watt hour, so 99, 999 watt hours and I got it at $500 on Amazon uh, I'm not telling you to buy it yet I haven't finished burning it in and testing it but uh, I just wanted to show you the pass through charging and how it will run my fridge very comfortably um, and and if you notice the 31 watts on the bodega that's why I got this fridge it just sips power um, I might it might be drawing 34 watts 35. Uh, when it starts up, it draws about uh, 38, 39 watts, and then it just slowly drops back down once that compressor gets fully charged and up. So uh, there you go. <coughs> so the pass-through charging works. Sorry about the cough there. It's It was cold out. Um, and, uh, and what I like about it also is you can isolate. See the buttons over the DC, the USB, the AC, um, it has a light too, which was kind of cool. Uh, the one thing that I thought was a little bit weird for lithium cells is that this is only putting out exactly 12.6 watts, which volts, which tells me they have a voltage regulator on the output. I don't know if I like that or not. It may, uh, decrease the efficiencies a little bit on the DC out. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. We'll see as I burn it in further how it goes but uh isn't that nice you know 50 cents a watt hour and it's running the bodega beautifully and it's maxing that Renogy panel at 50 watts it's a 50 watt panel and we're getting exactly 50 watts in aren't we so isn't that nice um and i will keep uh testing all week long and i will give you more and more updates again this is the t1000 by uh greasel uh and they have another product that if this one goes well, I love that orange trim on it to go with the bodega, right? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious when I got it in. It just made me laugh. But I like that you can isolate everything as well, too. And I burned it in on my computer last night running the power brick to keep my laptop going uh, with the AC pass through. And that worked as well. Uh, and I will do more and more tests and we will find out. We'll get a 100 watt panel on this and see what uh, how it performs as well. Um, so anyway, I hope you're all doing well. The Grease Cell T1000 at 50 cents a watt hour, fantastic. And so far, so good. It does what it says it will do. The reviews were all in German since it's been being sold in Germany. And so my German isn't very good. So I interpreted the inter the reviews the best that I could, and that's what led me to buy it. So I'll probably be the maybe one of the first uh, English um, reviews on this when I get done. It's going to take me four or five days to actually test everything and make my determination of how good it is. But so far, so good. So I'm not trying to sell it to you yet. Let me please continue to review it and test it before I give you my final opinion. But this is excellent. Maximizing the efficiency of that 50 watt panel. It is passing through perfectly to our bodega fridge at 33 watts. Isn't that magnificent? And we're still at 46 degrees, so it's working hard. It needs to get down to 34, 
35. So we got a ways to go. And I left the fridge open long enough so I could do this video. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Um, again, the Grease Cell T1000, excellent so far. I'm really liking it. It's very efficient. And the inverter doesn't burn a lot. Like a lot of these power stations in idle mode while you're running a small load on the inverter. I tested this last night again with my laptop. It just sipped power. The inverter was burning about 1% an hour, which isn't bad, okay, for these power stations. A lot of these inverters just suck the power station dry. And this one doesn't. It has a very good idle mode. And my laptop was drawing about 30 watts while I was doing it, um, which is really nice. So the inverter does have a good idle mode on low power draw. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Jim out.